Hi everyone, Kirk here with Kirk's Motorrad Shop in Crystal Lake, Illinois, bringing you another do-it-yourself video. Are your hand grips looking kind of like this? Are they getting all scuzzy looking, uh, cracked? Maybe they've got big rips in them, or they're just plain worn out like this one is as well. And you want to change these. Well, if you go to BMW and you say, I'd like to get some new hand grips, they're going to say, hand me, what is it, like $138 for one <laughs> okay so you can change these hand grips though for oh a whole hell of a lot cheaper than that what you have to do is you have to remove the hand grip from the heated element in order to do that you have to have a razor and you carefully cut it off you don't just jam the razor into it and slice like you would on a on a bike that doesn't have heated grips right underneath this this grip you can see this little bit of brown right here that's the heated grip so in order to get it off I like to kind of pull it away make sure everything you know kind of separates here now there's gonna be a little bit of glue these are kind of glued on there so you're gonna to have to deal with that uh, you, you know you don't have to get too crazy on the on the areas if there's areas that are stuck there the new grips will slide over that but what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna cut down and really just kind of rip them away uh, if, if you get stuck if you get into a stuck spot then go ahead and you know make a little slice just kind of like a make maybe like halfway through the rubber you don't you don't want to jam through this thing and then get into uh, you know the the heated element underneath so I'll just see if I can just tear this one all the way off it might come off I yeah, it might not. No, it's getting getting stuck. So I'm just gonna again just make a really light cut and then just rip it off. If you gotta get players on it, then go ahead and do that. Now when you get down to the end here. Sometimes there's wires that are kind of stuck in the uh, in the rubber, so you got to kind of watch out for those, okay? And just be careful tearing it all the way off. You don't want to just rip the whole thing right off of there and then wind up damaging your heating element. There we go. So I didn't pull any wires out. Nothing happened. This thing's junk now. Now we're going to go ahead and put the new ones on. Now the grips I'm going to be installing today are made right here. Built well ink. These are the thruster grips. They look like this. You can get an OE looking grip, one that has the lines in it like the original did. Uh, that Built well also makes that. I believe that's called the Kung Fu grip. Uh, I've installed those as well and they work fine. I actually prefer these a little bit only because you get a little bit more contact area between your hands and the heated grip you know the the heat part so you get a little bit better uh, I think a little better heat transfer through something like this the, the ones that are called the Kung Fu grips they have more of an air space in between them and you may not feel the heat as well so the other thing that you're gonna want to not only want to do but you really should do is purchase two sets of these at the same time they come like this these are one inch tubes okay that's what that's what this heated element is it's one inch and it's about 125 millimeters long or I, I don't even know how long that is in uh, it inches you see the ends of them though two different sizes you got a one inch size and you've got a three-quarter inch size that's meant for just regular motorcycles that have uh, you know a normal grip so you've got a throttle side and you've got you know a, a not throttle side the other side and this one there is no way this is going to go on there this this uh, smaller one it's just not going to these are these are really pretty thick and this one is is relatively thin they're the same diameter so there's just a little I think these are just a little less rubber maybe than on these anyways use these on your kids bike or maybe on an old broom or something so what you're going to do to install this is you, you have to do something to lubricate this spot right here. 
and it says on the built well website to actually you're supposed to use WD-40 I know it doesn't make any sense you'd think that you know you slide this thing on there and it's gonna slide right back off but they I actually spoke with them and they said that the WD-40 breaks down this rubber just a little bit it makes it kind of mushy and gummy and once you slide it on there within about 24 hours it will it will uh, adhere itself right to this bar and then that's good to go I've also used hairspray as well I know guys use hairspray uh, don't use grip glue or anything anything like that and don't use anything that's gonna get so stuck on here that if you ever have to remove this one it's going to then you know cause a problem and pull apart so I'm gonna use some WD-40 give that a go and we're gonna slide that right on there there's the WD-40 we'll put it right in there just a little bit you want to just kind of coat it up a little bit not gonna do much run that in there kind of wipe off the end a little bit and we're just gonna slide that right on so use use the one inch one and it will just slide right on there like it was made for it and that uh, the length of it is right out to the end here and it is just like the original was only you know th this ring is just a little bit bigger than the than the original uh, if you really care you can get the ones without this ring if you want to purchase these of course you can get them at a motorcycle shop but for your convenience I put them right down in the description below this video and you can find them on my Amazon page if you don't care for this one just do a search for built well uh, you, you'll see all their grip types just make sure you get two sets of one inch bars we want to make sure that they're the one inch ones Okay, it'll say right on the package somewhere that it is a one inch. Yeah, this one says one inch black. Uh, also says it right there, one inch. So I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, other side. And this bike is going to be good to go. It's actually already kind of locking up. So yeah, on the throttle side, it's really just exactly the same thing as it is on that side. Just give it a cut. Get it started. Little scoring line. These things are really, really thin. If you kind of pull and you can cut without getting into the, the heated grip. Once again, right here at the end, I'm going to slow down. I'm just going to rip it off of there. I'm going to make sure there's no wires in there. I've seen them where the wires that are inside here come up and they, they you know, come up right in this area. And if you pull too quick, you may just rip them right out of there. And that, that would not be good. That would be... Then you will be paying the BMW big bucks. last tip before I install this it does it does help a little bit if you heat these up you know set them out in the Sun or even use a hairdryer or something don't get them so hot that you melt them but you know they don't have to be burning hot they just need to be pliable so it slides on there pretty easy and if you really want to try to get that three-quarter side on you go right ahead but it's a lot easier to just go ahead and install two sets of these they are not expensive you're looking at forty dollars total to replace your grips versus what like almost three hundred dollars that BMW wants for a full set no thanks I'll, I'll gladly pay the forty bucks 
There we go. That's it. All done. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.